Alright, so good to be back with our home tour series. Now, today we are bringing you to Travelis and we are in a four-room unit right now with this fantastic view, tastefully renovated, and four-room lovers for clemency. I think you're gonna love this DBSS. Let's go. This entire project, 888 units at Clementi Travelis is classified as a DBSS design, build and sell scheme and is all fully constructed by a private developer called EL Development. Exactly what you see here is almost quite identical to what you will see in a private apartment because it has built the specs internally in terms of the fittings and fixtures as well as the external facade and design of the project to be quite similar in the look and feel of a private project. Less, of course, the facilities that you will find in a condominium like there's no pool, there's no gym and stuff like that. But there are also nice facilities downstairs. So some brief backdrop about Travelis at Clementi. This project was completed in late 2014. There's still a good balance lease of 93 years and nine months to go, making it one of the newest batch of HDB DBSS that has reached its MOP in the Clementi estate. In Travelis, there are only three blocks. So basically you will see block 311 ABC and this is at 311B and we are in the middle block. We are in a forum unit which is the 82 square meters stack and 82 square meters is the larger version. There are various sizes like 80, 81 and of course this is 82. This stack I would say is definitely one of the best stack and uh, just a little bit of a tip when you're looking for stack positioning when you're selecting a home. So usually in the project itself, the developer will always give the best views to the largest units because when they launch a project for sale, the largest units are usually the harder ones to sell because of its larger quantum. And of course, properties with a larger quantum will have a smaller audience in a sense. So usually developers will want to position all the large units with the best view. Now this particular stack that we are in at 311B is located just right next to the five room HDB stack, giving you this fantastic view of the north. And you get to see all the nice power station right at the front, which makes this unit very, very well ventilated. Because Clementi, I would say that is classified almost like the Marine Parade of the East. And this is like the Marine Parade of the West. So if you're familiar with the East part of Singapore, you will know that Marine Parade is a very distinct neighborhood that a lot of people aspire to live in because of its proximity to the town center. Similarly for Clementi, this is a very strong estate because there are just so many plus points about this fantastic location. One major factor is because of our proximity to Bukit Timah as well as proximity to the universities plus to town area and also you are just one stop from the Jurong East Central Hub. You are also very near to One North Dover, Buena Vista, and the entire transformation of the One North Precine that makes Clementi in a very distinct position. Before we head on to talk a little bit more about the other stuff, why don't I show the entrance area first? Come. Owner pump in an additional about 40 over 1000 to do a couple of stuff, and I'm gonna bring you through. They made this nice, I would say, very, very decent size through carpentry space. There's also a small little sitting area here that um, has bottom shelving as well. This is the kitchen which we'll go in later, but I'm going to bring you through the dining areas. What they wanted is a more kind of fusion style of dining space. So they do not want to have like the traditional four to six heater kind of dining table right here. So what they did was that they customized this higher version of the dining area here that is a little bit more like informal dining. At the same time, if you put in all your high stools and wrap around this entire place, you can sit up to about four to five people. This is made with compact plus material. When they have gotten their ID to do it, the ID actually gave lifetime warranty for this entire dining space. Compact plus is one of the latest kind of material because it's non-porous, it's also dense, it has high heat resistance, it's also water resistant. That makes it very popular as a kitchen countertop. Plus nowadays a lot of people are using it for the dining tabletop as well. Actually what um, the ID has done is that in future if you just want to remove this high dining set. You can just remove it because it's not directly attached to this pantry space as well. So you can still preserve this nice pantry space with bottom storages. You can just remove this, put in a traditional dining table here. And not forgetting a lot of small little details like this nice mirror that has been done. Notice whenever you put in a mirror in the space, the entire space of this zone expands. And then so of course when you sit here, it just gives you a nice open feeling that you're able to see through plus having this nice spacious view. 
Owner has decided to put their fridge right here, their cabinetry at the top of the fridge space itself. This also serves like a dry kitchen, interactive zone with your guests. And of course, that gives the kitchen a lot more space. So let's head in. There is a glass panel right here. So as you head in, by right, the fridge space given by the developer is over here at this direction. But what they've done is that because they wanted a larger fridge, they have placed it outside at the dry kitchen portion. This space now becomes open and they have filled up with top carpentry as well. And of course, we love oven at this height very easy for baking. There are enough carpentry storage right at the top and the bottom as very well maintained since day one. Some of the carpentry that has been topped up, they're all done with the bloom system. So let's head over to the yard area. This yard space is just right for your washer come dryer and there's external drying racks right outside. Sometimes some of the HGB flats nowadays, they are being designed in such a way that their yard space allows you to look and see into the corridor. So when your neighbors are coming home from a corridor, they will be able to look into your yard and your kitchen, which makes it a little bit less privacy. But have a look at this. The developer has actually masked up this entire space and use it to be a segregation for your aircon condenser, plus the city gas power supply for all your heaters as well. So that gives you a lot of privacy. And coming back in, all right, so the kitchen space just right is rectangular shape. This layout is like the modern condo layout where the kitchen is tucked on one angle. That gives you a lot of uh, privacy for your entire living room space. Let's come on to the living room area. Now, as mentioned, this is the north direction. You have three panels of sliding panel uh, doors. Two of them are openable to your private balcony. But before we head on to the balcony space, let's talk a little bit about this location. Now, this particular location, guess what? It has a sheltered walkway all the way to Clementine Mall and that takes you about six to seven minutes depending on how fast you walk and that leads you exactly right to the doorstep of Clementi Motel. There's no umbrellas needed. You can just walk there. If you want to take a bus, there's about one bus stop. You have very good schools here. So you're one kilometer from Nanhua Primary School, Peitong Primary School, Clementi Primary School. So all the good schools are around here. Coming here, there's artificial turf over here, plus four strips of wood paneling. But of course, these are materials that is non-corrodable. Looking at this direction, you'll be overlooking at the Firefly Park. And that Firefly Park is definitely a very decent park for your kids to have. There's like many miniature playgrounds, basketball court. Let's head into the bedrooms. Now, of course, uh, over at this walkway, HGB loves to build the home shelter right in this position. And of course, everybody uses this for storage and it's very useful. Now, imagine you don't have this. I don't know where you're going to put all your stuff. And uh, you have this common bathroom here, very well maintained. It looks very new, in fact. I mean, the wall tiles, flooring. You have a nice ventilation window, very important. Nowadays, a lot of projects, they are starting to do away with ventilation windows in the bathroom already. So treasure all these windows when you have it. When you come into the first common room, you'll see that you have full panel. You have the same facing, which is the north facing, facing towards the Firefly Park. There's two panel wardrobes right here. Very good size space. It's very well maintained since day one. Coming into this space, you get a nice ambient mood already. This space has been slightly modified. So what they did was that the second bedroom, they have modified into this. Ta-da! Very nice space. So this is just like your own little mini enjoyment place that you come in. And then there's a nice OC massage chair sitting over there for you to do all your makeup. This side is for all your jewelries and stuff. This is also for your watches and all this kind of stuff. A lot of this wardrobe essential cabinetry has already been planned for. You have very nice hanging clothes rack on the left and right side. And not forgetting you have top racks as well to put in like all these nice little boxes. It costs you about $4,000 to put back the door frame, put back the wall and a little bit of reinstatement, touch up work. Of course, in the meantime, if you're a young couple or you only have one kid at the moment while planning to expand your family, you can use this layout first and then when you have more children, they are growing up, they want their own bedrooms, then you can re-modify back to the original state. You have this ensuite, similarly own ventilation window, nice standing shower, wall house flooring, very well maintained. And then, of course, the master room, tastefully done. Now, if you were to do a little bit of switching of the lights, so there's a lot of combi lights here. There's like four nice warm LED light at the top, but if you want to off it in the evening, you have nice cove light on the left and right panel of this little customized wall paneling that has been done from the backrest of your headboard all the way to the top of the ceiling. 
This is also facing towards the same facing. Of course, right in front, there are some like old HDB blocks, but I don't think unlikely there's going to be reconstruction and stuff like that because Clementi is a matured estate, but there's not a lot of on blocks going on by HDBs and stuff. So those blocks are still like 30 over years old, 40 years old. So there's a good 60 years to go. So it's still some time before any redevelopment starts. Let's head back. For those of you, especially if you're looking for newly MOP HDB, the main reason is of course you want a longer lease to go, 93 years, 9 months left for Trevelis, one of the youngest in Clementi. You want a good location. Clementi is one of the premium locations. You can just look it up. A lot of people who works at the university, who studies at university, and of course, people who works at One North, works in town. They just love the Clementi estate because approximately whether you drive or take public transport, it's just so close to everything else. Plus, it's very close to Clementi Wall, seven minutes walk, sheltered. Give us a call, call our listings manager, Kenneth Tan. Number is right at the bottom. And then of course, don't forget to subscribe to our Property Brothers YouTube channel, click on the bell button for the next home tour video. So my name is Melvin Lim. It's good to see you again. And uh, thank you for staying with Property Brothers on our home tours. And we see you soon. Take care. Kitchen space just... <laughs>